Acoustic Doppler Current Profiler, a comprehensive and efficient way to measure water currents. The movement of currents in the world's ocean is an important aspect in weather prediction, climate control, navigation safety, search and rescue, fishery management, and much, much more. But how is current in the ocean measured? Various methods have been used in the past, from simply throwing a log in the water and observing its movement, to mechanical propellers that turn when the water currents flow through them, to buoys with GPS receivers. But for more comprehensive measurements of the ocean currents, an acoustic Doppler current profiler, or ADCP, is used. This is how it works. The ADCP relies on the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is an apparent shift in frequency of a sound wave to an observer when there's a velocity difference between the source and the observer. So, if the original frequency is known, then the frequency that is measured at the observer ends can be used to calculate the relative velocity between source and observer. The source can also be sound waves reflected from an object. In this case, the velocity measurement will be based on the reflected object. It is this kind of reflection off of an object that the ADCP takes advantage of to measure water currents. The ADCP consists of four sonar devices, or more accurately, four transducers. Each transducer sends out a pulse at a specific frequency and listens for the echo. As the sound waves travel through the water, it will be reflected by the many particles in the water, like sediments and planktons. These particles are assumed to move at the same velocity of the water currents, and that's why their velocities can be used as a valid measurement of the water. Since we live in a three-dimensional world, we want to measure current movements in all three dimensions. We need at least three transducers, but four are usually used. The fourth transducer greatly reduces errors in the measurements. These transducers are usually set up in what is known as a Janus configuration. That is two pairs in the two planes, east and west, north and south, or X and Y. If the ADCP is moving, for example, it's mounted on a ship or on a drifting buoy, the Doppler shift due to the instrument's motion affects both beams in a pair equally but in opposite directions. By averaging the two opposing beams in a pair, the ADCP removes errors caused by platform movement, isolating only the water current's velocity. The same cancellation effect is also applied to reduce misalignment errors when the instrument is tilted due to waves in the ocean. Since the ADCP detects moving particles in all directions, including up and down, it will report current flows at different depths in the body of water, thus creating a comprehensive profile of water current flows in rivers, lakes, and oceans.